it is that time. We are going to open up and see what is inside the May Ipsy bag. And welcome back to Sparkle and Grow. Jamie here. I am so excited to be opening up the May Ipsy bag in May. I know I have been behind. You know what I noticed though recently is I did not put any add-ons in this month's bag and it actually came faster. So I do think that by me putting an add-on means that my bag ships a little bit slower because they're taking the time to customize it a little bit differently. I don't know, maybe that's not, because they do customize it anyways, because they ask you to choose which products you want. So I don't actually know if that affects it, but I feel like I did get it really late last month. This month I didn't get any palettes, but there was palette choices. I just didn't choose any myself because they had a bunch of other really exciting products that I wanted to try. And I have a million palettes. So we went with some other things this month. This month I did get the Dr. Brandt Antioxidant Spray Toner. So if you, I'm sure you've heard of Dr. Brandt by now, if not, I don't know what moon you live on, but um, this stuff is amazing. I mean, the brand is amazing. They have a lot of really great skincare items. I love a good skincare. I'm pretty set on my main skincare products, but I do like a good toner and I'm kind of flexible sometimes with what I use. I use my rose water a lot, but this one is green and white tea extract. It's supposed to help against free radicals and leave skin revitalized and improving skin's barrier against environmental things. You're supposed to apply this to clean skin. Toner is typically for that pH balance. This one doesn't really say much about pH balance. Um, rose water I know I like a lot because it has the same pH balance as our skin, um, but it looks like this one is more for helping against free radicals and toxins in the air, so that's always a bonus if you are out and about. I'm gonna take this tape off. I wanna spray it and smell it and feel it. All right. Let's pull this lid off. Let's see how, I like to know how fine the mist is. I have some skin makeup on right now, so I don't know. It's probably bad to spray it on there, <laughs> but I am. Um, it doesn't really have much of a smell. It's really light. It does have a very fine scent, but it's probably that like green tea, white tea extract smell. Um, it smells really natural, not florally at all. I mean, I would say it's like almost no scent. It has a really nice, light, clean, fresh vibe to it. So I don't know. I will definitely use this, especially I like to use toner a lot too when I'm having like a not much makeup, no makeup. You know, I go days in between sometimes where I don't wear makeup just so my skin feels fresh and clean. And a toner is a really great one, especially to add on those days. It'll add that extra protection to my skin that maybe is not there through my makeup. So this one's definitely a win. I will use this. All right, there's always a little card in here giving the theme. The theme for May is Wild Beauty, which is kind of cool. Makes sense with the wildflowers on the bag. 
This month, delight in all the things that make you feel alive. A fresh mani, botanical skin care, going barefoot in the grass, and let your imagination run wild. All right, not much more on that. All right, the other four are all like kind of tubes of things, so let's just see. Let's just pull them out randomly. Ooh, okay. This one I think is one of the ones that I picked. I don't remember what I picked it instead of, but I just thought we'll try an eyeshadow primer. I'm down. I haven't tried an eyeshadow primer for a little while. I'm pretty like stuck on the one that I use the most. So I like to try a variety of different things so that I know what I'm talking about when I say like, oh, I like this one because of this, this, this. And if I don't try a variety of things, I don't know. So I just figured I hadn't tried an eyeshadow primer for a really long time and thought it was, I was due to try one. So this one is by Lovecraft Beauty. I have tried their brand before. It's a really great quality brand. So let's go ahead and see how this at least feels on my my hand so that you guys can know usually um, an eyeshadow primer kind of dries like it's a liquidy ish but then it dries kind of powdery so it's a great barrier between your eyelid and your eyeshadow it'll make your colors of your eyeshadow pop a little bit more it also helps with creasing and it la makes your eyeshadow last a lot longer sometimes they have different colors this one looks like it is a light shade A lot of times it's, they, this one goes clear though. Once it's on, it looks like it's very clear. It's very thin. Okay, so it didn't, it wasn't, it kind of started looking like about my skin tone, but when I rubbed it in, I feel like it would show up clear on everybody. So I don't want to like misconstrue the fact that it had a light color. Although a lot of times eyeshadow primer just has a light color because that's what sometimes will help that eyeshadow pop no matter what your skin tone is. Different shades underneath a color will affect how a color pops. So a lot of times it's just that light shade so that the color pops a little bit more. Um, but this one definitely, I think, as far as color, would be more clear. So if you want something more on the clear side, this is definitely probably it. But as it dries, it went on very liquidy, and as it dries, it's got more of that like tack that I feel like your eyeshadow would stick nicely to. It makes my surface super smooth, so I'll be interested in trying this with some eyeshadow. Actually, let's blot some eyeshadow here and then next to it so you can see the difference in how eyeshadow applies with it. All right, so I'm going to take one of these beautiful daisy brushes that came in last month's Ipsy bag, um, and then I'm just going to choose a color here in my Addiction palette. I think, I, I don't know, let's do this bright pink so you can see really like how... So over here there is no primer on this side of my hand, and we're just going to like put that color on and see what it looks like. Now let's go ahead and place some in this spot and see what it looks like. So do you see the difference? Like when you put an eyeshadow primer on, it makes that color stand out. It makes it pop. It makes it more vibrant. It doesn't like settle into your pores. It's like sticking out. It's true color. It's a huge difference. So if you're looking for your color in your eyeshadow palette to pop a little more, consider yourself an eye primer. All right. I tried to dry, wipe that off with a dry paper towel. I'm going to have a pink hand for the video. All right. <laughs> So what is next in here? Let's see. Okay, we've got something from Dragon Beauty. I like the purple packaging. It is Dragon Wing Liquid Eyeliner. Ooh, I like the name Dragon Wing. Come on, that's rad. In the color Blackout. So this is a black eyeliner and it's a liquid eyeliner. I love a good liquid eyeliner. So I'm excited to try that. Let's see. Ooh, it's like it's a felt tip. I will say I usually like brush tips more where I like the dip and draw type liquid eyeliners just because I know my felt tips never going to dry out. I do notice with these felt tips that they are great while the product is there, but then when the product gets low, it skips a lot. So um, this might apply great right now, but you don't, you know, it might not apply great in two months or something. Really, you should refresh most of your like eyeliner, mascara type products every three to six months anyway. So I guess it does not matter if you are up on your replacements. Let's see. All right. I'm going to try to draw a thin line and a thick line. I like to see how easy it is to make the line thin 
and then thick, you know, because sometimes you want to like draw it out. It actually brushes really nice. I did see a little skipping there, but that might have been because it was, uh, you know, I mean, I feel like there's a little bit of skipping, so... But I will say, as I just tried to wipe it off, it has some crazy stay power. Again, this is like dry. Maybe I'll see, I'm gonna maybe put some uh, eye makeup remover on these and see if that helps. All right, I'm gonna, uh, let's see this stay power. <laughs> well, it's eye makeup remover, so. Okay, the eyeshadow and stuff's coming off great. This stuff might, this might be like your rad summer waterproof stuff, because look, that's an eye makeup remover in it. I mean, it's coming off, but it definitely doesn't really want to very easy. So I would maybe say this is going to be great when you need that product that's going to stay really well, because I think this so far had some crazy amazing stay power, but I will say with the felt tip, it did have a little bit of skipping, but maybe that's not a big deal if you're just getting it for some summer fun and, you know, replacing it every few months like you're supposed to. All right, let's see what else is in the bag. All right, so we got two products left. There's always five full-size products in the Glam Bag Plus. I will link the Glam Bag Plus subscription thing in the description of this video. If you're watching it on Instagram, um, just go to my website, sparklinggrow.com. It's in my bio and then click on, um, I think Ipsy's it under all the deals, but I've been thinking about just moving it to my front page since I have a lot of Ipsy interest. So um, it might be right on my front page by now. So know that you can go see all of the prices and combos, but I would say I get the value of my bag in one product. I think it is $28 now for each month and you get like probably like $100 worth of stuff every time. So if you're a makeup guru and you're just trying to keep your stash up to date with some fresh products all the time, it's like a crazy amazing deal. Ooh, this is one that I was really excited to try. Okay, so this is an Evercolor Shadow Stick. So this is by celebrity makeup artist Molly. It is good stuff. Um, this is the color Moonlight. It says extra, so I thought it was, I guess you're just extra when you use it. <laughs> but this is the color Moonlight, and I love the little quote on the side. It says, you're ready to step out of the shadow and be a boss today. All right, let's open this up. Nice little sleek tube, definitely easy to take on the go. It's lightweight, really easy. Evercolor Shadow Stick Extra Velvet. So maybe that's the extra. All right, let's pop the lid off. Oh, it's like a, it's like one of the crayon sticks. These were popular for a really long time and I don't know what happened to them, but I loved these, so I thought they would be fun. I guess I do have a little, I have a little eyeshadow on, but. We're gonna zoom in and just, it looks like it could easily be a topper eyeshadow, so. Ooh, it is very like stick-like, like you could draw this. Let's see. I'm trying to get it so the camera can see it well. You could just draw this on. You don't even really have to blend it, like it just goes where you put it. Ooh, I like this. This is kind of a pretty color, too. It blended well with what I was already wearing. It's really light and shimmery, and you could easily wear it with almost any color and look. Ooh, I kind of like it. Let's see. I'm going to see. Yeah, like it. I can see why it's called Moonlight because it's just a really light shimmer and you could easily blend it with anything. I'm really excited that I got this one because I will definitely, definitely wear this, especially with how easy it just went on. Like I didn't even really have to blend. It just was a nice little pop to the eyeshadow I already had on. All right, that one's a win. Thank you, Mally. All right, and the last product that I have in this beautiful bag, I'm obsessing on the bag still this month. I really like the bag, so very pretty. We're done with that though. Um, <laughs> so this last thing is a lipstick. This one looked yummy. This is not the, one of the ones that I picked, but I was very excited about it. I really haven't tried a lot of lippies because I'm really stuck on the Unique's Opulence lipsticks. Like I think they're really yummy and creamy and amazing. Um, but sometimes I like to try some other ones, 
especially when they're other like creamy, healthy, like, I don't know. But this one looked super, super pouty, like, I don't know. It looked yummy. It had really good ingredients in it. Oh, and it was a plumping lip color. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So anything plumping, come on, it's good. Silky Rich Cream Color helps plump with plant extract and peptide blend. Feels hydrating with naturally moisturizing botanical waxes and oils, yet weightless on the lip. Plant a kiss all day with buildable, full coverage, lasting color. And I like anything that's buildable, so we'll see if it's buildable. I do have a lip color on right now, but... And I don't think it's coming off because it was a liquid lipstick. I was demoing it because they're on sale. Oh, this is some nice, pretty, like, kind of sleek packaging. It's brown, but it's very, like, a, like a caramely... I don't know. It looks very smooth and nice and pretty. And it has their little logo in there. Let's see. What is the brand? It is Complex Culture. I actually have not tried anything from them. It's the color Legend, too, just so you know. So this is the color Legend. Ooh, that's a bold color. All right, we're going bold. I don't wear a lot of bolds anymore, although sometimes every once in a while. I gotta, like, pull out the red lipstick every once in a while just to remind people I'm a boss. But, you know, this one is, like kind of a I don't know pinky red color let's see I feel funny having a lipstick already on let's wipe off what we can at least all right I'm just gonna put a little more of this oh that got it off better oh that just came off super easy with makeup remover you can use makeup remover on your lipsticks you guys and it gets that like little bit of stain off your lips really well. So good stuff. All right, let's try on this color now. I'm excited to see how just like creamy it is. Let's zoom into my lips for you. It has a very pointy tip for sure. Which is nice for that initial lip line. But it definitely doesn't stay pointy forever. It is creamy and obviously, obviously I'm using it with no lip liner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, I like it, but I'm not getting my shape down very well. I think I got scared to try it out. It is much bolder than my norm. Look at this side, it's funny. What happened? Did I overline more on that side? Yeah, I don't know. This side of my lip is funny. I did something weird to it. Honestly, I'll probably use it for occasional stuff. But I don't know if it's my everyday... I don't know what I did to this side of my lip. Just look at this half. <laughs> It is really comfortable and it's really lightweight. I think if I would have had a different color, it would be something I would probably wear more often. Um, but I'm not going to say it's like my best color. I feel like I'm wearing a lot of pinks too. Like this would look better with like a nice dark smoky eye and a black shirt and maybe like, I don't know, just a totally different look in general. I think I just need a lip stick brush to even it out a little bit, but it's not bad. I do like it. I do like it. It's very comfortable. It's lightweight. It's very creamy. Like, look at that, how just rubbing my finger on it. It's, uh, it feel, it definitely feels very hydrating. Mm. It's not like super lightweight. I've tried ones that are lighter weight, but it's not heavy either. It's definitely not like a thick, I've, I've tried much thicker as well. It feels, it feels really creamy. It definitely feels like it has some good stay power. Like there's a tackiness to it, but it's not sticky. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so I think that's everything though. I'm going to just like leave it there. That was fun. I was glad that I got to get on here during the month of May. I will put the link to get your own Ipsy bag in the description of this video, assuming you are watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Instagram, just go to my profile, hit the sparkle and grow button, and it will take you to my main website. And then there, there will be an Ipsy button. I'm going to move the Ipsy button to my 
front main page before I post this because I feel like there's just too much interest to have it in the all the deals tab. But there is an all the deals tab if you want to look through all of the potential deals you can get through me. So, all right, guys, I love you. Have an amazing day. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and make sure that you subscribe. We'll see you soon. Ta-ta.